ever get so broke it just becomes funny to you yes. after a while? Yes. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> It's so true. Oh my god. And here's the worst part. I have to put a foot in the tub <laughs> to use this toilet. Otherwise, I gotta go like this. Who <laughs> shits like this? <laughs> and my eyes tell the rest of me, fuck it, man, let go. We're here. We <laughs> don't need to hold on anymore. We've made it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Billy Collins. Matt do -do 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 Doje. And this is Magician. And the Jock. Louis C.K. Louis C.K. This is an old school clip. I'm a fan of Louis. I, I love think, Louis. I think he got the, a bad rap with that whole. What did he even do? Like, he released himself women. into plants or something? I don't know. No, he, he paid women, told them what he was going to do, to masturbate in front of them. Which is kind of weird. He paid I them? Yeah. He paid them. Wait, first of all, is that wrong to do? And secondly, I didn't ever knew you had to pay. I, I don't know. I Anyways, don't know. who that, cares? He's back. He's made a comeback. Yeah, but that, I mean, he got a bad rap for that. It was. He, he got sw he got swallowed up in the Me Too, but yeah, he's back and now he's Remember Me. But, yeah. But this is an old school Louis C.K. clip. I think he's hilarious. He gives no f's. And full disclosure, I have seen this, but I have um, not. When we first started discussing, because we used to do a bunch of interviews, I'm like, let's do some reactions, because Billy, I think, has the most infectious laugh on the face of the earth. So I'm like, I'm gonna do a make, try to make Billy laugh. This is one of the videos that came to mind. And I'm looking forward to this. It's 2004. Thank you very much. Thanks, uh, everybody. Uh, hello. I was a junior in high school. <laughs> nice to be here. How are you doing? Good. good, good. Nice to be here. I, uh, my second I'm broke. Anybody else broke? Uh, you ever get so broke that the bank starts charging you money for not having enough money? That's fucking broke, man. The bank called me up. They're like, hi, we're calling because you don't have enough money. I'm like, I know. <laughs> She's like, sir, you have insufficient funds. Well, that's a good way to put it, too. I agree with that. <laughs> I find my funds to be grossly insufficient. <laughs> Thanks for calling. <laughs> Why are you mad at me? I don't understand what. How is this something I'm doing to you? She's like, sir, you only have $20. That's not enough. You can't only have $20. I'm like, look, I'm not being broke just to f*** with you. I just really don't have any money. I'm not trying to be a dick. I just, my life is shitty. <laughs> so they charge me. They charge me $15. That's how much it costs to only have $20. That's what it costs to have 20 bucks. Now I only have five. <laughs> what did I pay the twenty to the fifteen dollars for if I don't get to have the twenty dollars that I paid to have? I paid the fucking money. Where's my twenty bucks? <laughs> That's like all the movies. You pay buy your ticket and they go get the fuck out of here. Go home. <laughs> But I paid for the movie. No, you paid for a ticket, motherfucker. You didn't pay for a movie. I'm not sure it was. I'm guessing something like account minimums or whatever. But is that does that ever happen? Yeah, to you? I mean, if, if you have to have a certain amount in the bank, or they will charge you. Yeah, you're getting overdrafted, and then you don't. You go then into you have that, even less. You go into that Kevin Hart bit where he's like, you know, my my checking and my savings. He starts describing his financials. We have to do some Kevin Hart stuff. Oh too, yeah, but. Okay, I didn't know. This was back in 04, so I definitely didn't have a bank account back then. You ever have negative money? That's depressing, isn't it? You look in your bank account, negative $10. That's how much I have now. Negative 10 That means I don't even have no money now. I wish I did. I wish I didn't have anything. I wish I just had nothing, but I have less than that. <laughs> I don't have none. I don't have none. I have not ten. I don't... I can't... I'm like... If it's free, I can't fucking afford it. <laughs> Somebody 
if it comes to me, take this, it's free. That costs nothing. I can't afford that. That's more than I have. <laughs> oh, God, that's so true. I got to raise 10 bucks to be broke. That's where I'm at. Uh huh. Back to broke. That's good. That's bad. Apparently, some of you are in the same fucking position. <laughs> How's your economy doing? Shit. No, I'm glad you appreciate that story. Not everybody appreciates that story. I told that story about a week ago in Orange County, California, and all these rich motherfuckers looking at me with their bow tans and their golf shirts and penny loafers. They're all looking at me like, well, yeah. Like, you were financially irresponsible, you had to pay the price. I <laughs> See what you're angry about. The bank has a right to accrue a fee, clearly. That's how different it is to be rich than it is to be poor, because when you're rich, the bank pays you for being rich. Mm. If you have a lot of money, they give you money, because you have a lot of money. Mm. They say, you have so much money that we should give you some. Because you have a lot, you should have more. Here, take more money. I'm, I'm not sure the Bible verse, but it talks about that. Those who have some will be given more, and those who have nothing, even that will be taken from them. Mm -hmm. it's, that's been going on forever. Take this guy's 15. Fuck him. You should have him. <laughs> <laughs> Makes perfect sense. He doesn't have enough. You have a lot. Fine. Take it all, you motherfuckers. I don't give a shit. You ever get so broke it just becomes funny to you yes. after a while? Yes. Like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> no Jesus! That's so true. Oh my god. People call you home to turn off the... Yeah, fuck it! Turn it off! <laughs> turn it off! I don't give a shit! Oh. When can you make a payment? I ain't paying anything! What am I gonna fucking pay you with? Sold the phone. I don't need it now. <laughs> Damn it, man. This shit's brutal. I live in New York too, and man, there's uh, you can't get along with no money in New York. You gotta live in these tiny places. I have this apartment, right? And uh, we have this. Okay, here's the toilet, right? I'm on the toilet. This is how small the apartment is. The, the top is right here, like right next to the toilet. Then there's a wall, like right in here, like right. There's no. <laughs> You gotta, you get squeezed in, and here's the worst part. I have to put a foot in the tub <laughs> to use this toilet because otherwise I gotta go like this. <laughs> Who shits like this? <laughs> I'm pooping. <laughs> 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 and in order to achieve, to achieve this position, I have to put a foot in the tub. Now, try putting a foot in the tub when your pants are at your ankles. You can't. They both want to go, right? So I have to take off the whole pant leg, which means I have to take a shoe off every time I take a shoe. <laughs> every time. And sometimes that's okay, but a lot of times it fucking isn't okay. <laughs> That's such a visual. Sometimes I didn't plan effectively, and I'm ten blocks from my house, and I've got to shit. You know when you you can't run because you'll bounce it out, so you got to kind of glide, and you're going, come on, God damn it! Then you stop occasionally. Come on, man. Okay, I'm gonna make it. 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 And I always get to this point where like I'm gonna make it. I'm fine. I'm fine. Mind over matter. I'm gonna make it. And then I see my house. I just see it. And my eyes tell the rest of me, fuck it, man, let go. We're here. There's no need to hold on anymore. We've made it. Because my eyes are fucking retarded. I don't know the difference between the outside and the inside of my house. That's so true. So now I got like Olympic seconds to fucking get in my house and open the door to the bathroom. And I gotta take a fucking shoe off? Are you? <laughs> I have shit my pants 13 times. <laughs> <laughs> I 
you couldn't keep a straight face with that. Oh. All right. <coughs> oh, shut up. Oh. Ah, you better leave now. It doesn't get any better. <laughs> anyway. No, no, fun. sorry, blah, blah. Uh, so anyway, no money. I guess I'm white trash officially, and uh, <laughs> white trash is a very funny expression to me because it's the only racial expression you can use, and no one gets offended. Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> That's so very true. Trash. Nobody gets all quiet like, hey man, why are you talking like that? That's not cool. <laughs> Nobody defends white trash. You can be talking to the most liberal hippie in the world. You go, hey, I saw this guy. He was white trash. He'll go, ha ha, bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> white trash piece of shit. At him because he's poor and he's starving to death. He's a loser. He lives in a trailer because he can't afford a house. Let's go shit right in his face right now. <laughs> That's why they're funny to us because they're fucking poor. Oh. He wears stupid clothes because they're fucking free so he can eat. <laughs> ha fucking ha. That's so true. Man, it's depressing in this country. You ever go like you ever drive through whole towns where everybody's life is shit in the whole town? Everybody just standing in front of their house like <laughs> Harlow. I swear it's Harlow. Yeah. One hundred percent. Oh man. This is a weird election too. People got weird, man. I was driving through this town in upstate New York. This guy's standing there with a sign that says, Hunk, if you love America. Now I love America, but I'm looking at this guy and I'm thinking, what the fuck are you doing, man? This is your day? You're going to stand at this red light with this fucking sign? What is wrong with you? And he's looking at me because he's angry that I haven't honked yet. And now he's trying to intimidate me. He's like, fucking honk, motherfucker. <laughs> and then I decide, you know what? I'm not honking. And you know why? Because fuck this guy. That's why. He doesn't get to decide this rule for the whole thing. An intersection just because he's got a magic marker and no job and uh, <laughs> otherwise i'm a fucking commie Fuck him. <laughs> what if i go up to him with a t-shirt that says lick my balls if you love jesus <laughs> Come on, man, you gotta do it you gotta do it what are you a jew lick him <laughs> i never thought about the white trash thing no one does. You're part of the problem, Billy. <laughs> so the uh, this was clearly like, I mean, first of all, that special like it was pirated. You know when people will film a movie from the back of the movie yeah, theater, you, you see the back of people's people heads stand in front. So it's not our fault. But man, being broke, I mean, he painted a pretty good picture. And I've been there before. For like, sure. I mean, I, I've I've seen it where I'm like. Dude, you get, give me a break. You like, go through phases. You're like depressed, and then you just laugh. Then you're like, ah, fuck. I'm <laughs> just saying, bro, who cares? Yeah, I've already sold the phone. Might yeah. have been in college when you'd have like an 8 a.m. exam and you haven't even started studying, and it's 9 o'clock at night, and you're like, screw it, man, let's go out. Let's like, go, let's just, do it. it can't get any worse. Like, just go all in. Do you yeah. have any broke stories? Not really. Just, just. You know, it's just a feeling. It's like a feeling. Yeah, it's not really a a story. I just know in in college where before I started, because I started a pressure washing business and, you know, pressure wash like Miami Subs and Mm. uh, Daryl's, all this place in Greenville. But I remember the Pirates, baby, East Carolina. But I I just didn't have any, any money at all. Yeah. So you would go to like Taco Bell and just get the sauce, the packets, and buy some. Like saltines, crackers, mm-hmm. and just have like poor man tacos and just pour it on there and eat them. You get the water cups, fill it with Sprite. Hey, you had that money for the Milwaukee's Beast. Yeah, man. Dude. So. Yeah. I, there was a while, like every time I go to a gas station, you're kind of like cringing, and then it goes through. Because when you're broke, you're damn sure not checking your, your balance. Like, yeah, you're like, oh my God. You're going man. until it, and you're like, oh, something must be wrong with the card, and you just run out. Yeah. Hopefully, you've gotten <clears> gas. But yeah, I've I've been there, done that. Uh, I, the white trash thing cracked me up because yeah. I, I you don't think about it. It's like white trash. You have a poor guy's living in a trailer because he can't afford a house, or he's got weird clothes. Yeah, because he wants to eat. Yeah. What um? So maybe in the comments, guys, even if you're at a point now where you're 
financially better. That's the great thing about America. There's mo- income mobility. Like the top 20% today was not the same two years ago. There's a lot of mo- mobility, but if you were, and we've all heard stories of grandparents coming out of the Great Depression, even if they've made a lot of money now, mm-hmm. they still have Great Depression habits. You know, right, whether it's spend it. those who have gotten a little bit better off financially where you can breathe, do you still have some broke habits that are following you around? Yeah, I'm sure one hundred percent. I know I do. I know I because I I know when I got my divorce and pretty much lost everything. I have I still have the picture of my bank account that says there's nineteen dollars in it. And I you were begging for that. I, I was like nineteen dollars in my account, and I'm sitting there thinking, damn, I have all this bills coming up. How am I going to make this happen? And somehow God gave me the the power, the will, the the drive to make it happen, and I I did it. But now, when I'm out buying stuff, I'm like, do I really need that? Mm. <laughs> I don't want to go back to $19.75 in my bank mm. account. So, yeah. But, you know, that's just the way I think my mindset now. Yeah, that's no, true. I mean, everyone talks about find your why, and a lot of people think their why is in their future, and the reality is the why is usually in the past. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't want to go where I was, or yeah. I'm going to do things differently because this is how it was. So a lot of times the why is in the past. But anyways, let us know what your broke habits are. Uh, and leave a comment keep, down below. Keep shooting um, suggestions. We're, we're, we love doing this. I uh, love it. And also, do us a huge favor. Help us out by smashing that or hitting the subscribe right. button. And wait. What? <laughs> Again, sorry. Do us a favor. Help us by hitting the subscribe button. Smash the like button. And we'll see you on the next episode. Peace.